guys, Cindy out of here with My Artsy Endeavors. Guess what time it is? It is time for our monthly challenge. This one is really simple. It's done with supplies that we all have, and I have to shut the pinger off on my phone. I'm sorry. If not, it'll keep on pinging. Um, we're going to use paint chips. You can get these in any of your local hardware stores. You can get them at Walmart. Anywhere that sells paint, you can get paint chips, right? If for some reason you can't get to Walmart or you don't have a hardware store in your area that sells paints like this, you can use the deck of cards. Now this, I have no idea where I got them, but I know I have all four aces, so I must have a deck somewhere. So what we're going to do, get out your punches, get out some cards and some paint chips, and very simply, we are going to make ourselves a stencil. So I'm just going to come on. These little bits and pieces that you cut out, you can use those. Um, I actually have a basket here of stuff I was cutting out, so I'll just put them in there. All right, the only thing with this is just be very careful because when you're cutting them, you can actually push and bend over the, the um, parts of the petal and stuff. So I am just going to cut a couple more. Okay, and there's a real quick and easy stencil. All right, I'm going to do a few more of these um, because I want some different, these are all the different things I want to put into stencils. So I am just going to mess around with this. And then I'll show you what these stencils actually end up looking like. So let's just see, we're just gonna play. Play, play, play. I even did one on the edge, which I did that on purpose, believe it or not. Um, this one is birds. Now, with this one, I'm gonna try to keep them all going the same way, maybe. Maybe, uh, or not, maybe not, we'll see. We're just gonna play. Oops. Come on. Uh, I really want to go up, but that's all right. This one will go down. And then what I'm gonna do once I get these all done? Aren't they cool little birds? Uh, once I get these all done, then I'm gonna use them. I'll show you how I use them on my. Um, just on some art journal pages. So this one I know is always hard to push. I don't know why I got that one out. You know, I really wish they would make a punch that you could see like, if I was doing this on painted paper, I'd like to see what areas I'm punching out. And they don't. So there's another one. All right, let me go ahead. I'm going to do up. I got three more here, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so this last one, if you punch it full out, and I did this just to show you guys. When you punch it full out, you get the entire piece, okay? I want that design, not so much the whole flower, but the design itself. So what I did on this one is I didn't punch it very hard. I just basically put the marks in there. And now I'm just going to take my X-Acto and I'm going to pull out the little pieces that I want. Okay. So I'm just going to pull out these little pieces. And, you know, this is another thing you can do to make your own stencils. You can, um, or, yeah, your own stencils, is you can just take an X-Acto knife um, and cut your own stencils that way also. Okay, that one's done. This one's done. Doo -doo. And then this way, I'll show you what these look like when I get them out. So this way I'm getting the um, insides. I'm not getting the outside. Doo -doo. 
Do, do. Like I said, this is very simple, very easy to do. Um, you know, use what you have. I know a friend of mine, dear friend of mine, Carol, um, Carol Minton, she actually takes her die cuts and makes her die cut um, dies and she'll do a bunch of die cuts and then she makes them into stamps or into stencils as well and I think that's a fantastic idea I just haven't done that yet okay so here's the inside that's what I wanted to achieve so now let's take I'm gonna find just a journal I've been playing around in here hold on oh let's see A play around journal. Here's a play around journal. And let's just find a page. Here we go. This page looks good. All right. So now I've got all these stencils that I had made, right? Let's grab some paint. Do I have any on my desk? No, of course not. Why would I have paint on my desk? Let's just grab some. Let's grab purple. There we go. We got some purple paint. I'm just going to put a little bit on my palette over here. And then I'm going to take a sponge and let's check out our new stencils. Awesome! Right? Love it! Oops, need a little bit more paint there. How cool is that? So there's one. Let me move this to the side. This one is Snowflakes. And again, um, I'm using purple just because that's what I've got out. Doesn't matter. There you go. There's Snowflakes. Perfect. Okay, we've got leaves here. And that's okay. We're just going to do a few leaves here and there. Why not? This is just a play journal anyways. It's it's where I go to just, just play around. Mess around with supplies, whatever. Alright, so there's our leaves. We've got some more flowers here. Let's throw one up here. How about one down here? Alright, then we have our birds. We're going to put the birds over here. Okay, so we have our birds. What else do we have? We've got these flowers. And we're just going to put a whole bunch of them down here. My help. Sorry, guys. And see, I did it toward the edge, so it actually looks like it's going off the edge as well, which that's all good. Look at that. And let's just put a little bit up here. And then we have these flowers. Alright, so quick and simple. Oops, I didn't use the deck of cards. Here, let me see. There's those. Let me grab another punch and I'll do a couple on these uh, cards. I'll be right back. Alright, since I've got four aces here, let me put these to the side. I'm going to now you don't have to do anything special on these you can just do circles which is what I'm doing with this one just cutting out some circles okay so there's a circle punch which I'll use that I've got this little square one now the problem with the cards and these little square ones is it's hard to get them up in um, or at different angles because of how small they are but that's what I'll do on the edges. Okay, so like this side is squares, and this side I will do the little circles. You can get a little bit of a variation with these, not much. Let's go all the way up in. Okay, so there's the square and the circle one. We've got the bigger circles. 
I was going to put those on one, but that's okay. Or on two. All right, then I have this one. This is a patent pending made in China. I have no idea. I'm guessing Creative Memories. Um, not sure. And this one. Now, I have a problem with these punches because they don't like to go through a lot of stuff. So what I did is I basically just gave it the outline. Push it back down in. So I can take... This. There we go. It did take it. Alright, I'm going to do it again. There we go. Yay! It did take it. And here we go. So let's use these. I have an extra ace, which is fine. Alright. Now, remember, you have all these little bits and pieces you can use, too. And those will go in my mini drawers. That sounds funny, my mini drawers. All right, let's see what other page we've got here. Here's a cool page. Let's use some purple on this page. So first is this. And again, you don't have to punch two. You can just punch one. You can actually use um, this card with two separate punches. That works too. Not a problem. But it's an easy way to use a, a supply that you already have and just make another um, you know another use for it all right so there's that let's take some circles and what's really cool is these circles have that like um, textured outline and we'll take some of these squares and some of these mini circles. All right, so there you have it. We have ourselves a bunch more of new stencils. And I actually have my small stencil binder, which is where these will go into, and you'll actually see some of them in here. Um, I've done this before, this is a, um, arrow that was from Gina's collection. Um, let me see. I know I have other ones in here. Let me look. Uh, come on. Oh, there's a thing of hearts. This is a paint, uh, paint splotch that I've got on one of the paint chips. Um, birdies, a butterfly. This one I've never used. Here's some funky doodles. Um, another one. So I've done these before and I've used these before, which I think are fantastic. So we're going to put these right into our collection. I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you join me this month on, um, you know, making your own stencils. And like I said, it doesn't take a whole lot. If you have punches, if you have die cuts, you know, die cut on a deck of cards. You can pick up these decks of cards in any, you know, pretty much any dollar store. They don't have to be big ones. They can be this regular size deck of cards. They'll work just as well. All right. So I'm going to finish putting these up. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. I can't wait to see what kind of punches and what kind of um, stencils you make out of your punches. And as always, leave a thumbs up. And have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating. I will see you next month. Bye.